Hey friends, a very important update for you. What has this election shown us so far? It's shown us that there has been a deep state coup of the U.S. government involving international global bankers, domestic intelligence agencies, and the mainstream news media. Now, on Friday, NBC Nightly News kicked off their broadcast with this. Breaking news tonight. It's an NBC News exclusive, Russian Revenge. NBC News has learned the CIA is poised for a major, unprecedented operation targeting Putin. Tonight, inside, the covert plan to embarrass the Russians. Before continuing, I want to ask one very important question. Where is the leadership from the woman who wants to be in the White House so badly that she's willing to lie, steal, cheat, and kill for it? Let's take a look at her calendar. For today, October 17th, there's an organizing event in Hanover, New Hampshire. The speaker will be Bill Clinton. Another one in New Hampshire, in Keene, New Hampshire, Bill Clinton will speak. Multiple events today on the 17th, including speakers Ann Holton, Tim Kaine, LGBT and allies down in Dallas, Texas, Chelsea Clinton in New York City. Nowhere will Hillary Clinton appear. In the 18th, John Favreau and Moby will hold a fundraiser in West Hollywood, California tomorrow. And look, Hillary Clinton, the presidential debate. There's one appearance we'll see from Hillary. If we go through this list of her appearances between now and the end of October, there are none. She's literally in hiding. God knows why. She's probably deathly ill. But nowhere on this calendar is any evidence of her leadership. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. The State Department and the Pentagon is knocking on Russia's door begging for World War III. And where is Hillary Clinton? This is exactly what we can expect if she becomes president. Now let's return to that NBC Nightly News exclusive about how the Pentagon and the CIA intend to wage cyber warfare on Russia by conflating in the minds of the American people the idea that Russia is meddling in our elections providing absolutely no proof. Good evening, there will be no troop movements or a single shot fired, but NBC News has learned exclusively that the United States is poised for an unprecedented retaliatory assault against Russia in response to its interference in the U.S. election. The United States is poised for an unprecedented retaliatory response against Russia for its interference in U.S. elections. Again, the CIA media, look at the logo behind Lester Holt, manipulating events, manipulating public opinion, the CIA mockingbird mainstream media doing their job the best they know how by reporting propaganda to the American people. Tonight, high-level U.S. intelligence sources are describing to us details of a CIA-led cyber retaliation against Russian computer systems. And it could get personal, targeting the Russian leadership from Vladimir Putin on down, who the U.S. accuses of sponsoring a series of hacks meant to undermine confidence in the American election. Now let's pause it there. A series of hacks meant to undermine confidence in the U.S. election. Of course, you know what the power structure is bent out of shape about is WikiLeaks Truth. Julian Assange has been dropping truth bombs with the Podesta emails, which now number some 15,000 emails, and they speak to the core of corruption within our own government, within the Clinton campaign, within the DNC, within the mainstream American news media. And it is these truths, these leaked emails, that are causing confidence in the U.S. election elections to come into question, with some 73% of Republicans now fearing that the election will be stolen. Senior investigative correspondent Cynthia McFadden has details. All right, so Mockingbird Cynthia McFadden has the CIA details, which may include interfering with banking in this clandestine operation, which is obviously not clandestine at all. Sources with direct knowledge of the operation tell us the target, the Kremlin leadership, particularly Vladimir Putin. If ordered by the White House, the CIA could manipulate things as specific as the banking accounts and personal phones of the Kremlin leadership. And today we see Russia Today's bank accounts blocked in the UK by RBS. Now, RBS, International Criminal Bank, as part of this international globalist deep state, has acted against Russia Today, which by all accounts speaks nothing but truth compared to the American media. And then, of course, we see Julian Assange's internet connection slashed by some state entity, undoubtedly the UK government. Never before in my lifetime have I ever seen the deep state apparatus, the corrupt secret government of the United States, show itself so blatantly and overtly. A former senior intelligence official tells NBC News he believes the U.S. response to the Russian hack should be overt for everybody to see. 
and that it should include a persuasion campaign designed to inform the Russian people about Putin. If you publicly accuse someone and don't follow it up with a response action, that may weaken the credible threat of your response capability. And as WikiLeaks and Russia Today are targeted by shutting off their access to internet and banking, it has never been more evident, even to some Republicans, including Congressman Jeff Duncan from South Carolina, thank God for WikiLeaks doing the job that the mainstream media won't. The deep state of the U.S. government and its international cartel connections has never been so obvious. And against the backdrop of all of this blatant criminality, newly released FBI notes confirm there was a quid pro quo arrangement between the State Department and the FBI in the attempt to cover up Hillary Clinton's treason. And I quote, in exchange for marking the email unclassified, state would reciprocate by allowing the FBI to place more agents in countries where they are presently forbidden. Meanwhile, the FBI's own documents reveal a confidential file was found on a Romanian server, which may suggest that Hillary's private server was indeed hacked after all. Guys, it's never been more clear that the deep state, the factions in control of the U.S. government, are in an absolute panic, so much so that they may not only steal the election for Hillary Clinton, they may well take us directly into World War III with Vladimir Putin, who now publicly has declared that NATO is the number one threat to Russia. Thanks for watching. For real news 24-7. Visit sgtreport.com. О решении Белого дома о прекращении военного сотрудничества с Москвой в Сирии ничего, по сути, не меняет. Немного потеряли. Правда, теперь в Вашингтоне уже громко заговорили о переходе в Сирии к так называемому плану «Б». Формальных подробностей нет, но в общих чертах все понимают, о чем идет речь. План «Б» — это когда США используют в Сирии прямую военную силу. Нетрудно догадаться, против кого? Против Башара Асада, правительственной армии. А значит, и против вооруженных сил России, которые находятся в Сирии на легальных основаниях. Можно ли исключать такой вариант? Нет. Можно ли исключать провокации для начала войны, учитывая опыт начала мировых войн, как первый, так и второй, Провокации работали, как спусковой крючок. 